Hey guys, so several times over these last two years or so that I've been doing uh, YouTube, excuse me, my, my uh, seat is stuck there. I have mentioned and I think I've shared in various videos about doing taco meat in the slow cooker. Now I've never had a dedicated video for it and so I thought I would just show you I'm getting ready to do a big batch of taco meat in the slow cooker for our weekend. It is now Friday. We're going to have tacos and we have soft shells, we have hard shells, we can do taco salads, a couple different configurations. That's going to be our big weekend meal. Tomorrow is Saturday and on Saturdays I usually leave the house for at least 12 hours or so to bust out a bunch of my business to-do list uh, stuff and my husband is home with all the kids and then Sunday we have church on twice, we have church twice on Sundays usually and it's just busy weekend like I'm sure at your house. So I usually pick one main meal and we have that several different ways for the weekend. It's also quick and easy heat up, um, you know, if teenagers want to get themselves tacos for lunch or just however it works. One of the questions I get is, Jay Morrell, why don't you just stand at the stove and cook your five pounds of hamburger in 20 minutes? And I don't usually have 20 minutes to stand there plus deal with the grease mess at the stove. So even though it takes a couple hours for me to do my meat in the slow cooker, I started my meat earlier today around lunchtime. It is five pounds of ground beef. This is heavier fat ground beef. I think it was like um, 73, 27 or so from Aldi. I would like at least an 80, 20, but they didn't have it and I wasn't running into another store just for meat on that day. So I, my meat is cooked in the slow cooker. It has cooked on high for about four hours and all the grease is contained in this slow cooker. So I can drain it now and then I'm going to add in. Now thought ahead a little better, I would have also had some pinto beans or northern beans or black beans done to add in with my meat mixture that I'm going to do. Totally forgot and it was time to get meat cooking so I didn't fool with it. I also did a whole bunch of French toast in bulk this morning too. And so I thought, okay, well we just won't have beans. So what this is going to end up being, because you know it's all about working with what you have, it's going to be five pounds of hamburger, it's two pounds of cooked brown rice, it's four cans of corn, unless I eyeball it and decide to add in a little more corn, and then I'm adding in um, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, of course, salt and pepper, mixing it all up in the slow cooker, and then it'll just warm until dinner time. So here is my hamburger grease mess all contained in the slow cooker. So I'm going to drain it. I'll set the lid off here. I'm going to drain it and chop it up, put that back in. Also, my rice is done. I've just been letting it sit over here to drain as well. So I'll show you what this looks like once we mix it up. So in the spirit of not making any extra dirty dishes, what I rigged up is this is the pot I did my rice in. I put my drainer in it, poured my hamburger and hamburger grease into it. So I'm just breaking up my hamburger now. All the grease is dripping down into the pot. We'll dispose of that later. Um, honestly, what I do a lot of times is I just let the pot, the grease sit overnight, and then I'll scrape it out into my trash bag the next morning, and it'll go in our trash pile. I can't dump anything because we live in the wilderness and we have, you know, real predatory animals. And the last thing I need is a pile of uh, <laughs> beef grease anywhere near the house or on our land to draw animals in. So that's just how I quickly dispose of it. I don't save grease to reuse for cooking. I mean, I you know, I certainly could, but I don't. It's just not something I'm in the habit of doing. So those of you who do are probably thinking, oh, there's 50 things you could do with that. And you are certainly free to share some ideas with me. I just honestly don't know too much about what I would reuse it for. So all of the meat now, that's pretty good. So now I'm going to just put the meat and the rice back. Just got the meat back in there. And actually before I do the rice, I'm adding my corn. And then I'm going to add in my spices. Because I had this over here and I'm all about saving steps when I can. So this is just a total of four cans of corn. These happen to be 15.25 ounce cans, four of those, but of course you use what you have. Now I didn't have any cumin available. I'd never buy the taco seasoning packs. I just put in, it ends up being about three tablespoons of chili powder, three tablespoons of garlic powder, also three, about three tablespoons of onion powder, and then I just liberally shake in salt and pepper. And I put in some cumin if I had it. I don't have it available. Now I'm going to stir this up. So I have my taco meat mixture all worked out. Again, if you have refried beans or if you want to do homemade refried beans, 
those are wonderful in this. I just, I've had plenty of times where I don't have them or don't think to plan ahead enough, and it works out fine too. So if I had some beans, I'll still, I might check my pantry to see if I have a can in there somewhere. Um, I would mix those in as well. And so here's my rice. I am not going to obviously be able to fit all this rice in this slow cooker. I should be able to use maybe a third of it. And then I will save the rest. And as we start to get low on our taco meat, I will add in extra rice. Here's a quick view before I start stirring. Here you guys go. I was actually able to fit almost all the rice. This is the little bit of rice that's left. So I think I got about two thirds in there really. And we'll put that in a bowl for storage as needed for the weekend. If we don't get to it, I'll just end up freezing that and then I'll use it in something else. But here's how it turned out. So this is five pounds of hamburger. Just about two pounds of brown rice, corn, spices, and that is what I had on hand. Again, you can add lots of different things to your taco meat in the slow cooker. Now it's just on warm. I'm just going to let it warm for a little bit. We have our taco shells, which I'm carrying here. We have soft shells. I have to actually run out the door real quick for an errand, and I will have my... Um, my 13 year old and probably my 10 year old they'll get sour cream and cheese and other things out because my husband is doing some homework and also watch little kids you know and later this evening or tomorrow I will try to add in another video clip just to show you what what it looks like when it's all done so guys we are back from dance and we've gotten all the taco stuff out again here about nine o'clock at night we got the slow cooker full and then we just heat it up on this big plate and I'm making another soft shell. So here's the behind the scenes of how I'm doing my soft shell. I've got my meat mixture on that and lettuce and some cheese and sour cream and hot sauce. I like Texas Pete. Did you find a clicker? Yes, yeah, say night night friends. Night night friends. To show you guys the uh, taco meat in action. That's how I'm having mine. We've also, we've been through a few boxes of hard shells. We got our soft shells out. So we'll see you next time with another brand new video and my all directions written out recipe of how I do the taco meat and the slow cooker will be over on largefamilytable.com. Bye-bye.